All right, this is Joe again with another review. So I'm saying in this video, I'm going to continue discussing the, the Death Wish movies. Story, and hopefully, oh, I know they may, may make a couple more after this one, but I can't see it getting any worse. Um, I'm going to be discussing in this video, Death Wish 4, which came out in 1987. Starring, of course, starring Charles Bronson and Kay Lenz in, in this film. Because this one picks up obviously two years after the previous film when he helped clean up New York. And I know, but this time he's back. This time, Charles Bronson's character, uh, Paul Kersey, you know, the vigilante in these films, goes back, goes back to L.A. and it looks like that he's, you know, finally retired from being the vigilante. This time he has a love interest. Uh, and he didn't have a love interest in uh, Death Wish 2, but he has one in, in this one the, by, by Kay Lenz. Of course, it was in um, this TV show Reasonable Doubts with uh, Marley Matlin. And, and uh, I forgot who was in that show. But I know Marley Matlin was in that show Reasonable Doubts. Anyway, she plays a reporter who's doing a story about drug dealers because her daughter. And Kay Lenz's daughter in the film, who became, you know, uh, loved by Charles Bronson's character. And they're thinking maybe marrying her and maybe adopting the daughter. Well, the daughter gets hooked on drugs. And she gets like a bad dose of cocaine and she dies of a drug overdose. So, all that stuff was going on. And, and Charles Bronson is thinking of maybe killing. Uh, going after the drug dealers who sold uh, his girlfriend's daughter's drugs. Well, that's going on. There was this guy, in the, this rich dude in L.A. who says her, her son was killed by or died of a drug overdose as well. And he asked Charles Bronson to go after the drug dealers. And he helps set them up, gives them money, weapons, cars, disguises, whatever, whatever he wanted. This guy was willing to fund his vigilantism in the streets in LA going after these drug dealers. Which Charles Watson does. And this, and this rich dude, who's kind of shady, gives him all this kind of crazy information about these, the two biggest drug dealers in LA, which was 90% of the drug dealers, the, the drugs in LA. And what Charles Bronson does, he sets one up against the other. He does killing off guys from both drug dealers in the film. Then, then the two drug dealers are turning on each other. They're all blaming each other for you know picking off all these guys. And then they find out that it was actually Charles Bronson who did it. So they go after Charles Bronson. And they kill off Kay Lenz's character as well in the film. They kill her, they kill her off about three quarters of the way through the film. That then Charles Bronson goes after them. And then he finds out that the guy who was giving him all this money and information to go after the other two drug dealers was a drug dealer himself. He was the third drug dealer in town who controls the other 10%. Because he, because he mentioned that these two drug dealers control 90%. Well, guess what? The drug dealer, who this guy who was giving Charles Bronson the money, controlled 10 the other 10%. So he figures and gets Charles Watson to kill off these two drug dealers. He could take over all the drug dealers in in, uh, in L.A. But guess what? Charles Watson go, goes after him and kills him. Spoiler! In the end, in the end of uh, the film, and of course L.A. the L.A. cops goes after him because there was a cop or, or an Asian cop who uh, track told. This point is, look, I think Paul Kersey is the vigilante. And, and meanwhile, he goes after uh, uh, Paul Kersey. And Paul Kersey found out that, that the Asian guy, or the Asian detective, was actually being paid off by the drug dealer who hired him in the first place. So, and Charles Bronson kills him in self defense. And he tells, and he tells the, other, the detective's partner, the dirty cop's partner, that hey, this guy was getting paid off by this drug dealer. I said, "How oh, come you're making this up?" I said, "Am I?" I said, "Look, look, look what, look what he did." And he tells him, "Look, he 
he his trainers he was doing he was paid off by this other guy <coughs> to go after me. And actually, of course, you've got being a partner because you know him for so many years. I said, yeah. And he said, well, he, he was dirty too. He was a dirty cop. And at first, he didn't believe him. And then eventually, when the other detective follows Charles Bronson, the other drug dealer admitted that before Charles Bronson kills him at the end, admitted that the other cop was working for him. He was getting paid off. I'm paying off this other detective for him. Then the other cop defended him and says, when the rest of them and says, do it, and so the other says, do it, do it the hell you want. And he's, he walks away, and that's how the movie, you know, ends. And I'm doing a fast review on this thing, because at, at least it has a different kind of a plot. Um, in, in this Death, in Death Rush 4, it has a different kind of a plot. Or Death Rush 4, The Crackdown, I should mention. It has a subtitle, The Crackdown. But... This movie is not that much better than, than, than the other ones. But I should mention, any of you who are Star Trek fans out there, look for Tim Russ. The story of the movie is one of the hit, uh, the drug dealer's henchmen. Of course, Tim Russ played Commander Tuvok in Star Trek Voyager, uh, in the Star Trek Voyager television series. So look for, look for Tim Russ in this, in this particular film. Uh, but, like I said, all the other Death, I mean, the Death Wish movies, even though a lot of people make fun of like, movies like Die Hard with the, the Yippie Kaye stuff and all that type of thing. At least the Death, at least the Die Hard movies have a plot, or the, or the other crazy si series in the eighties uh, over there with the violence and stuff. At least they have more of a plot than the Death Wish movies. I mean, the, the Death, I mean, it's horrible. Charles Bronson is not that. Is like I said earlier in other videos, is the ugliest mother effer in these movies, and. It's hard to believe that, that this guy who's so butt ugly has his has his movie franchise. I know there's other ones in the series. I haven't seen them, and if they're just as bad. If they're just as bad as this one, I mean, it's not, not worth watching, in my opinion. But I think eventually going to watch them and do reviews on. But these movies are just horrible. I mean, it's so, I mean, after the first one, this movie, this movie series is horrible. I mean, you just can't believe that this movie's had about like six or seven sequels in, in this thing. I think it might have had a reboot, uh, a remake, but I can't believe this movie movie series lasted this long, as long as it did with Charles Bronson. Like I said, it went eight years before they even did the first sequel. So, this movie is horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's a horrible series. Uh, so, this is a review of. Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. Please click on the video, please rate it, please subscribe to my channel, please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and only on my YouTube channel but at uh, rallyc.com, it's all WDY, and then C.com. There's all page of Rally Reviewer, Chris Lee Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.